What's up there you guys, your man Joe. Came around just to find that you need to know. So, a little bit earlier I was thinking about how y'all been saying like, Joe, how come you never talk, you always talk about hell. What about heaven? What about what's in heaven? So actually I asked the father twice about this and they pretty much came out the same. Um, in this vision, I see the father, you know, cause you know, and it's, it's the exact image of in the book of revelations. Uh, like there's a great white throne and there's a rainbow behind, like behind him. Um, as I was in this room, it was like, yeah, it looked like it was like a big throne room. Um, as I go, uh, the father, I would say this, that the father looked like, at least in this vision, he looked like, it's like from his neck and up, it's nothing but fire. Like blazing, he still has a head, but it's like it's like blazing in fire because you know in the word it says he is also a consuming fire. So in this vision, he he was sitting in his throne, and he had his hand, I think his right hand, uh, on his throne room, just tapping. Like what was it? Uh, he it was like tapping like this. And he was, and I asked him, like, uh, Father, how come I can't see, like, the trees and stuff in heaven? And he said, um, and he said, he said, yeah, he has prophets. They can go look at the prophets for that, or, look, you know, look at the prophets that talk about heaven, you know, how beautiful it is. And as he explained to me, he, in both of, actually both of those visions, he was pretty upset on how the things are, are happening in the earth. He was upset, highly upset about the, um, about how the things are in this world, the sin of this world. And he, not upset, angered, um, highly upset and angered that the things that are happening on this earth. He also wants to know, you know, he wants also wants to say that he's also angry with the things of the earth. I know some of y'all might say, well, Joe, isn't he a God of love? Yes, he is a God of love, but he's also a God of judgment. He is also the judge. Um, and rightfully so. Uh, he can remember that he created the earth in seven, six days and he rested on the seventh. Um, and he also wanted to, and he also emphasizes on how he feels. Like, he how he feels about the earth and how is the condition of the earth as well that he is angry very very angry so hopefully oh yeah and also in the vision that I also see like an hourglass when he was looking at the he was looking at his right uh, that's when he then that then, then I see like a very large um, hourglass like a sand like sand hourglass so I don't know. I don't know what people. I don't know. I don't know what people put in these hours, uh, hourglasses. But yeah, I see like a very um, hourglass, and I ask him like, "What does that represent, or what does that mean?" He's pretty much said that it give um, it gives people time to repent and turn back to him. Um, I can precisely remember what what the sand looked like, or the top or the bottom. Um, and stuff like that, so it could be seconds as far as I know. Um, yeah, that's all I can remember. It was a very short vision, actually. Um, yeah, so for those that who wanted to know what it's like to be in heaven and stuff like that, apparently, that's how it is. That's what happens. I asked him twice, remember, I asked him twice. And they come out just as the same as the, the first, just as the first one, it came out the same as the last one. So, yeah, but again, please seek the Father about this in Jesus' name. Um, so as far as that, repent for the day of the Lord is near. Please make Yeshua HaMashiach your personal Savior today. Please be washed by the blood of Yeshua and be baptized in the Holy Spirit and fire. Prepare for the rapture, prepare for Yeshua's coming, prepare for the wedding supper of the Lamb. Prepare for the seven-year tribulation and prepare for the great white throne judgment. All right, since so your man Joe, see you guys in another video. So, okay, all right.